morning. We just had breakfast at the hotel, of the hotel breakfast. It was basically the same as yesterday. Yeah. Really good, really delicious. And now we are headed out on our easy day in Kyoto. So this day was truly our easy day in Kyoto. We really didn't have any like regimented plans other than a few spots that we wanted to hit, but we weren't really on like a strict schedule or anything. So these first clips here is something that I've really wanted to do ever since, you know, just knowing that we were going to Kyoto and that was walk along Philosopher's Path. Philosopher's Path is this really beautiful, just kind of serene, walk slash path I guess um, in Kyoto and it was really cool because it was all along kind of like this residential area so I did film some of these houses and this awesome dog um, but it was just cool because the architecture was so different than anything I've ever seen before especially in terms of like actual homes so it was just cool to see how you know the locals lived um, it also was just truly so peaceful um, this river was here it wasn't like too noisy or anything but there were some areas that had like this little babbling brook like you'll see here but yeah it was just so peaceful and we actually ended up coming across this man who was making these little boats out of leaves and flowers and he was doing this for free which is amazing like we did end up tipping him just a little bit because like he just sits here and makes these beautiful creations so we we're like we want to give you a little bit of compensation but essentially what he was doing was making these boats for people that pass by and when you drop it in the water like here um, if it lands right side up then you are supposed to have good luck for the rest of your day so we thought that was really sweet also just the um, boats that he was making like they were really beautiful and intricately made um here you can see kind of a little bit more about like what he's doing and why um but yeah i was trying to watch like how he was just creating these i'm not sure what types of leaves he was using maybe bamboo because they were really structured and firm um and then he's just stuck these flowers in them and it was so cute i i just love that like you know this is something that you can pass by on like in the middle of nowhere in japan i mean we were in kyoto not in the middle of nowhere but still like it was just cool that like we just happened upon this so jordan and i both got these little boats and both of us ended up having good luck which is awesome so you can see my uh landed uh straight up there <laughs> And now he's making Jordans here. And again, just like, look how beautiful these little boats are. I know I kind of like, it was a little fast, but truly like they were so intricately made. Um, but yeah, Jordan got good luck too. Yay. Good luck. And truly we did end up having good luck for the day. It was a gorgeous day, um, really well spent in the city. So we are currently walking Philosopher's Path. We came to a little crossroads and found the smaller shrine that we're walking to now. It's so beautiful here. And then we came across to this old man who is making boats out of like bamboo leaves and flowers. And it was so cute. And um, essentially he makes you a boat. And if you throw it in the river, then um, if it lands Up. upright, then you get good luck. And we both got good luck. We both got good luck. This shrine ended up being my favorite of the whole trip, and you will see why in a moment. Um, but this is the Otoya Shrine, and the story goes that the god of marriage fell in love with a earth princess, I want to say, or just a princess of another world. Um, but another god got jealous and then tried to essentially end that other god's existence um but a mouse was the one that helped him escape and then him and his beloved princess could marry um so it's a really fun story but you will see here in a moment as to why i just love the shrine overall i mean it's a very peaceful place again like in the heart of the philosopher's path but you see those mice right there those are supposed to be like the mice slash the deities, I think, of this shrine that helped that god um, essentially marry his beloved. 
so I thought that was really sweet but also the mice themselves are so cute there are two mice statues which I'm pretty sure I got footage of so that should be coming up soon um, and they were just so cute and I loved looking at them and they looked so serene in the foliage and everything and here you'll see them um, they're just so cute So we are at the Atoyo Shrine, is what we found out, and it's very old. Mm -hmm. From like 880. Yeah, 880. But there's been a lot of damage to it, so all of the like donations um, go towards repairing the shrine. Mm -hmm. so it's really beautiful. They have little mice deities, but they also have snakes and monkeys, so I wonder if it's about like, the zodiac and stuff, we'll have to do some research. <laughs> It's just really peaceful here, mm -hmm. and the like mountains are so beautiful. They're so lush. Mm -hmm. so, I love it here. Whoa! Oh, look at this big tree. That's a big one. Such a nice noise. Mm -hmm. Also, I just used the bathroom, which is located right here, and that is like the cleanest public bathroom I've ever used. It's one stall, it's basically like an outhouse, but oh my god, it was so clean, and it smelled good. That was amazing. Okay, according to Stardew Valley, what fish are these, Emmy? Pike. Are they easy to catch? Um, yes. And you can catch them in the river. This is Stardew Valley, this is Stardew Valley IRL. Hit. <laughs> Ding. A pike. Perfect. Pike. <laughs> Now don't hate me, but we stopped for lunch at this amazing udon place. Um, truly just one of the most beautiful restaurants I've ever been in, but I do not remember the name of it at all. So I'm so sorry, but you can see a few of the Japanese characters around here and we definitely took a lot of video inside. So if you're in the Kyoto area near Philosopher's Path, Hopefully you'll be able to find it, but this was just an amazing place to eat. As you can see, it was just beautiful inside with these huge windows with this gorgeous view of their garden. Um, and then the food itself was so, so good too. I ordered this like tempura udon that had just all veggies, um, like cluster mushrooms, sweet potato, um, different things like that. And then Jordan ordered the beef udon, I'm pretty sure. And they were both so delicious. It was such a wonderful way to, you know, just have lunch in Kyoto. Um, this is actually the pathway to the bathroom. I wanted to show this because the bathroom was super cool. Um, they had these little slippers and then this doorknob was really beautiful. So I took footage of that. <laughs> um, but this is our food. That's Jordan's beef udon, delicious and then this was mine oh yeah mine was cold as well so that's actually cold frozen radish grated on top and oh my god it was so tasty the portions in japan are also huge i know people often say like internationally portions are smaller than america but at least at udon places we often got like so much food that we couldn't finish and i always felt super bad um but yeah anyway that place was awesome definitely go find it if you're going to going to kyoto anytime soon um then we headed to this shrine that wasn't too far off again i don't remember the name i'm so sorry if i can find it i will put it on the screen here um but this was just a super relaxing day of just walking around you know kind of 
taking the day as it came. Um, this was a really nice park area though. Um, this was all part of the grounds, like this little house here and stuff. You could go up this tower, I believe, um, but you had to pay and we didn't want to do that. So we just walked the grounds a little bit and it was really cool. Um, but yeah, it was just nice to just walk around, especially because the weather that we had on this trip, particularly this day, was really nice. So we just like felt the urge to be outside and explore. Um, but yeah, I just love Kyoto. Like this city was amazing. Probably my favorite of the trip other than Tokyo Disney. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just awesome. Um, continue to enjoy the video. <laughs> You look so cute. It's because I'm concussed. Yeah. I hit my head at the restaurant. Yeah. Because the doorways were so short. Jordan's too tall for Japan. So I went over the pole and hurt. <laughs> That one's good. Mm -hmm. So the top is the number three level and the bottom's number seven level. Number three was listed as regular. Regular. Regular matcha. It's very good. I'd say it's pretty similar to the matcha ice cream we've had before. Mm -hmm. I can't wait till we get to number seven. I'm gonna try number seven. Look how green it is. Oh, it's so dark. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'll try. Okay. <laughs> you like it? Mm. I really like it. It's very bitter. Yeah, it's a Ooh. little a little too much for me. Your teeth are green. Oh my gosh, your tongue is green. Um, but I can appreciate it. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you. Riddle <laughs> with But... Cute. Okay, going solo for a little bit. Uh, Emily actually did not feel very well, um, and I think she might have eaten just something that just didn't agree with her um, earlier today, uh, whether that was uh, a convenience store donut or maybe even the udon we had today. I don't know, but um, so she is resting up at the hotel right now. Um, because it's our last night in Kyoto, I really wanted to just take a look at Nishiki Market um, and maybe just try one thing. Um, so I'm just quickly running out of the hotel, uh, gonna, going to um, go look for that, take a look around, take some videos for her to see, um, and then we'll go back and uh, see how she's feeling and maybe you know do some other nightly activities uh, or just take it easy tonight before our travel back to Tokyo tomorrow. So let's go to Nishiki Market. Hey, you know we're in the tourist area. There's a Shake Shack. One of the places I was looking for, the Snoopy Cafe.
Look at this Woodstock. He is dressed up, I think, like a pumpkin. So cute. Here's a bag with Emmy's favorite character on it. But also, here's another one with Emmy's other favorite character on it. I think this is pretty cute. It says the city on it and the market, and it has a, more than a few wood stocks on it. A pretty useful size pouch. My guess. Couple of cultural Snoopy things. Ah, oh, here's the dragon. Snoopy dressed up as a dragon for 2024. Oh, maybe this is another thing to get to. It's a little charm with Woodstock dressed up like a dragon. And it's a bell. Here's the Snoopy. In, in his dragon headpiece. Okay, this is actually really cute. Woodstock on a tent. A bunch of Woodstocks with Scoutmaster Snoopy. And yeah, they're on a little plate. Here's a lot of these chopsticks holders that say thank you for being a best friend. And there's this one. This place has a lot of cute merch. Here's another one with Snoopy and Woodstock. Don't need another tote bag. I don't need another tote bag. Don't need it. Okay, I just figured out that this Woodstock is part of this Beagle Scout group, and so he's in a ranger hat and he's in a sleeping bag. That's very cute. Okay, this is the supposed place I found on TikTok that had a really good Kobe beef skewer or otherwise other type of beef skewer. Um, but their last order was at 5.30 and it's 5.45. Oh well, maybe next time. I just realized I could order it to go, so I'm ordering it for takeout. It's a skewer, I don't know how that's much different than dining in, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so this is what I got. This is a steak skewer. Um, it doesn't look like the one I saw in the video, so probably won't be as good, but it was worth a shot. Okay, just finished the skewer. Um, wasn't what I expected from the video. But um, it was at least actual steak, so it was better than the one at the other like street market yesterday. So all in all, pretty good. A couple more pins from Snoopy Chaya. Whoo, that was a little crowded, um, and it's pretty crazy. They like definitely just close up shop right at six, um, so that's a good thing to know. Um, but it was a fun environment. Definitely things are just like kind of touristy trappy, um, just like all the foods and how many of them you keep seeing over and again. Um, but I think I came out with, you know, just some steak um, and then a little gift for Emily. But maybe you'll see it later. I don't know. Um, so now I'm headed back to the hotel. I'm going to check on Emmy and we'll see what we want to do for the rest of the night, whether that's explore a little bit in the dark or just rest um, for our day tomorrow. Down to Papa John's.
Two more drinks and a second round of karate. So you can see what it looks like. It looks like it's good. Now we are walking home. Walking home. Walking home. Feeling pretty good. Yeah, that was so fun. I love that place. I'm I so didn't... glad we found it. Yeah, I'm glad we found it. I didn't get my lemon pasta. I don't oh, know yeah. exactly why. Um, we think they might have been out of stock. Maybe they were like out of pasta, or maybe he just didn't feel like making yeah. pasta. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They did not speak English <laughs> there, which is fine. Yeah, we're totally in fine. Japan. Um, but we, I think there was miscommunication with the pasta. Yeah. But we um, had two chickens, and that yeah. chicken was so good. That's good. And the pizza was so good too. Ooh. I think I just haven't had melty cheese in a week, so like, <laughs> it was just nice to have melted uh -huh. cheese. Yeah. Yum. Um, that was good. And so yeah, now we're gonna take it easy the rest of the night um, so that we can have another full travel day to tomorrow. Tokyo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See ya.